Hey, how's it going, everybody? Trinfinite X here, back with some more Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. So, last time, we fought Zangetsu again. Here in the Oriental Research Lab. Is that what it's called? Oriental Sorcery Lab. Which, I still don't understand how this could be here. Like, at the top of the castle. That doesn't make sense, how it could be up here. But, either way, today, we're off to fight the final battle, sort of. First thing we gotta do is get through all these ninjas. Um, so in between recording sessions, I did a, a couple hours of uh, grinding, and I now have a good deal more passive shards here, uh, optimizer for increased weapon attack speed and increased weapon damage, regenerate is now a passive shard I have of so I'm basically permanently recovering a small amount of HP over time that's the green sparkles Aurora um amphibian speed is now maxed out and permanent uh, red remembrance so the more damage I take I get uh, increased stats so the Lucario effect <laughs> Um, resistance to a few things. And one new thing that's very important. This was, I swear, this was just a shard. I didn't find this anywhere. It was just a, sh it's just a shard that you make by having double jump. Just, all you have to do is have double jump and get the, the special feathers off of those bull enemies that are in this area. Those winged bulls that are here. If you get their plumes, you get an ability, you get the ability to create a shard called High Jump. And I'll show you in just a moment exactly what that does. Now you might be thinking, well, that, doesn't that just increase your jump height? You know, let you jump higher? Well, it does that, yes, but it's a little bit more than that. I'll show you what I mean in just a second here. First, I have to get to an area that's convenient for showing it off. In fact, I think I know just the place, but first, let's do this. Aw, oh, just gold. Okay. Well. This thing. If you get the drop from this thing, combine it with double jump. You get this crazy skill that does this. I can keep doing this. There's no limit. I can basically fly now. I am just Superman. And there was no, like I said, I didn't find this shard. There was no story attached to it. It was just, you just create it. So I am Superman now, or well, more like Wonder Woman, I guess. Only without the invisible plane. <laughs> um, but yeah, so crazy, just endless jump. So now I don't necessarily have to invert necessarily to get around I can now just fly um so here we go so we never went up this way it turns out that 
that this was the way to go if we wanted to connect back to the areas of Bell Tower that we couldn't get to earlier. And this is why... This is why I have come. Yeah, see, this is about to lead us back to Bell Tower. This is what I thought was going to happen before we entered the Oriental Sorcery Lab. I thought we would be led back here, but... Nope, now we're just up here. In above this area that we could not get through this, like this wood floor right here. We couldn't break through this before. Miriam has access to a whole bunch of, you know, really powerful demon shards, but she couldn't break this wooden floor. Or better yet, she couldn't go around it. Like you can clearly see in the background, there's spaces she could have just gone around it, climbed the scaffolding, or just, you know, double jumped through. But, you know, video game logic. Another technique for the bandit blade. Anyway. Anything in the bell? Ah! HP max up. Or at least I think that's what it said. I can't... Sometimes it's hard to say... Hard to tell if it was MP or HP. Another bell to ring. The bell tolls for us! But not in the way you would think. Or maybe it tolls for our enemies. Depends on how you look at it. So anyway... Wow, is there actually no way out of here? I don't think there is. I think that... Yeah. There's no way out of this. This is just the top of this tower right here, and that's it. There's no other way out of here except through the Oriental Lab. Okay. Well, if that's the case, we've been through everything up here now. Except, if you'll recall, this bridge here with the crack in the ceiling that we couldn't figure out how to break before. Well, guess what? I have a feeling I may know how to break it now. Um, but we would have to go all the way through the lab and down that way. Yeah, well, no, we should just hit up the, uh, yeah, we'll just head to that. Actually, no. You know what? It would be faster. Also, yeah, I cooked a ton of food. In case you couldn't tell. Um, it would be faster to just use a waystone. So we will do this. And then warp to over here. So, you might be wondering why I'm not wearing the War Maidens outfit that I said was so good last episode. It's because it was already outclassed. The Shinobi Guard has one less defense, but it has, and less luck, but it has strength and intelligence, which are both aggressive stats. So, yeah, it's better. Also, double silver power ring. Silver power ring increases power. Yeah, and... Yeah, the resists are better, too, on the Shinobi Garb. Or, you're right. But the silver power ring normally wouldn't be that great. Just increases power in proportion to the number of enemies I've slain, but given all the grinding and stuff that I've done, they're actually the strongest power-up I have. Thanks to all the excess grinding. So... Yeah. So, two of those, and I'm suddenly super strong. Well, since we're right here, I do like these Christmas colors. 
How about we change our appearance? Fascinating. People do their hair like this. In fact, I'm pretty sure we just got a an, a hair apparent uh thing from one of those treasure chests. There's a lot of hairstyles here to experiment with, like <laughs> like this one. You know what? Why not? She looks super Saiyan this way. And since we just got... <laughs> since we just got the ability to fly, it seems appropriate. Let's go Super Saiyan, shall we? And... Hmm... Hmm. Man, I wish I wish they had an outer an outer blue, but they don't. I like the color blue. But unfortunately, yeah. I was thinking blue like the Saiyan outfits, but they don't have a they don't have a white either, by the way. They don't have a white. <sighs> Why are they missing such important colors? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just do this. The look suit doesn't look too bad. All right. Super Saiyan Miriam is here. <coughs> so where are we headed again? We are headed up. Just zip on up here, no problem. And now, we'll just walk forward into these guys and, oh, come on. Come on, Miriam, you're a Super Saiyan now, you have to be able to crack this. Use that, use that hard head of yours. How do we break this? Like, actually, oh wait. It was just a weapon attack the whole time, but I wasn't hitting it. But I inverted and tried to kick it, and I was... How did I... How did it not work before? I hit it with everything I had. Ah, <sighs> okay, whatever. Whatever, game. HP max up, and it was green text. And... MP max up, and it was blue text. Okay, I'll never get confused by that again. Hey, look, it's Silver Knight, just like I expected. And now we will fly away into space, off to the moon. And we're hitting an invisible ceiling, oh well. Actually. Inverse. Inverse. Yeah, crap. Auto-inverted. We can't fly to the moon, oh well. So there is a bunch of, there is apparently some water down there. Maybe that's where the train tracks were going, through those hills behind the castle, I guess. I was remarking earlier, you know, like, where in the heck was all the water that we saw? Well, there is a lake around here, but, hmm. Oh, wait a minute. You can actually see where the water is down there. That doesn't make any sense. Hold on. This castle layout, like how is there water up here? I mean, is this higher or is this off to the side? I can't, I can't tell anymore. This, this map's confusing. Oh well. All right, so we have, we have explored pretty much everywhere we can. 
We're about as strong as we're going to get. And speaking of strong, we're straight up busted. Because this game on normal mode is just way too easy. So... I have decided that when we get to when we get to Jeebel because that is where we're headed uh, up further I have decided to unleash my full power upon him Just to show off how broken we are on normal mode. Also, I needed a demon heart. Good. Or something later. So here we are. Hall of Termination. There's literally nowhere else to go. We have to do this. Flying is fun, yes. Don't have a millionaire's key, unfortunately. But I'm sure we'll get one, though. So. Save here. Oh yeah, we already read that. Okay. Just double checking. Oh! What's this? I didn't see this up here. I did not know this was here. Okay. Well, never mind. Before we fight the final boss, let's find a secret. Yay, secrets. Hey, Celeste Key! That's for the library. Lots and lots of gold, and more MP and HP max up. Right before the final boss. And even and a secret room within a secret room. I, I knew it. Hey, There he is. There's Iga himself. And also this... Oh, wait a minute. This leads to the 8-bit realm. We're not going to do this yet. Even though we definitely need to do that. In fact, we will go there. We will go there after we've dealt with the boss here. Because that's a whole separate... That's a whole separate deal. Well, hold on, hold on, let me save now. Let me save again, I guess. Okay. I did not... I knew that existed, I didn't know where it was, though. All right. Capacity up. Oh. Arise myself and my shadow. And books. Another technique, and it's the same quarter circle combo. And another technique for one weapon. Huh. And even more MP. Wow. Just checking. Okay. Just aesthetics there. Alright. So here we go. I'm going to deliberately do this fight wrong. I am going to deliberately get the bad ending here real quick. Um, but I'm really going to do it only to show off just how broken overpowered we are at this point. So I have 
I'm using AP rounds. I have four I have 114 rounds using the strongest gun that I was I was able to get a new gun using the strongest gun. <clears throat> the gunslinger's hat that increases my firepower but doubles the ammunition I have to use. And I have strength from this, from these. So I just want you to to see how quickly What took you so long? Well, now that you've tasted the power of so many shards, I presume you're ready to join me. Uh-huh. You presume wrongly. I'm here to keep my promise to you, and nothing else. What promise? You really have forgotten then. I swore to you that I would stop you if your Shardbinder power ever manifested itself against your will. You made the same oath to me. <gasps> Please! You think I wield this power unwillingly? I do. I've known it since our meeting on the Galleon. But there was a moment when I saw a flicker of the real Jeebel beneath all that hate. Fool! I've had enough! If you want to stop me, you'll have to do it by force. Stop you by force? Easily. Watch As this. You wish. It's time to free you of this once and for all. Next time, obey. So when we fought Shadow Me, we got Shadow Tracer. Hey, look at that. Fight's over. That's how powerful we are. Shadow Tracer gives us a bunch of Shadow Clones to increase our damage, and using AP rounds, which are like 90 gold a, a piece, we fired like six shots and killed him just like that. You... You... You did the right thing, Miriam. Thank you. Was it the right thing? <laughs> With that many shards bound to you, you will be all too easy to possess. And that's the bad ending, everybody. Okay. So now, let's do it right. First we have to re-grab re all this. Now, now we will do the fight correctly. I just wanted to show off just how crazy strong we are. Also, this ability... is really, really busted. Because <laughs> now we have all the Shadow Clones firing the bullets too. Took you so long. Next time, obey. Okay, so this time. We'll be a little more careful. And now, let's switch over to our. By the way, Zangetsu Toe also got replaced switch over to this. I already have a better katana, but we have to switch back to this. Oh, uh, whoa. Hey. Never seen that before. Oh, no. Oh, no. Forgive me, <laughs> I didn't even do 
that on purpose. The little, my little uh, attacking piranha heads there did it for me. Unbelievable. Maybe I should disable them for this fight. I didn't even do that intentionally. That's hilarious. Okay, well. But was it the right? Guess you get to see this again. <laughs> With that many shards bound to you, you will be all too easy to possess. Yes, yes. Arise, my serpent! Okay. Okay, guys. I'm so overpowered I can't even end the game right when I try. <laughs> That's how broken we are. Okay. Okay, guys, I love you, but we we can't have that happen again. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to have to deactivate that again, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going to have to do that again during the fight. Okay. Arise, myself and my shadow. Apparently, Jeebel's a fragile guy. I mean, it looks like he's been partially crystallized already, so. All right. This time, turning you off. Next time, oh okay. Let's be more careful. Oh, that's what he got me with last time. Okay. I shot him like four times, so I don't want to overdo it. And now, equipment, so we have to use Zangetsuto, and I want to make sure I don't accidentally kill him with my passive f familiar here. There we go. When the moon turns red... At last, the Lieber Logai is mine! Think again. Miriam, I've... I've missed you. <laughs> Our sword lived up to its name and slashed the moon. this fast it's it's better this way the world can be rid of me but this this castle we can't allow it to Shh, I know I know I'll destroy it but you're going to live Jibo <laughs> I'm glad I got to see you smile Mm, doesn't look like he's gonna live, Miriam. It shouldn't have come to this, my friend. Are you ready, Johannes? I am if you are. Yes. I have a new promise to keep. If you plan to destroy the castle, 
He won't be able to do it without the Lieber Logaiath. Then I need to track down Alfred. Gremory will be after him too. Tracking Gremory might be faster. The moon, you mean? I'll try it. How unfortunate. Also, Johannes is here. But now, now he's not. And also, oh, oh, hi. It's Iga. I didn't mean to trigger that. Guess we're doing it now. Well, <clears throat> gonna probably want my familiars back for this one. So this is the DLC Iga fight that I didn't mean to trigger so soon. Uh, this, I expect, might actually be a challenge. Let's find out. Let's give him all the bullets. Um. Okay. Something's amiss here. I can't seem to... Oh, I can only damage his head. That's the only place he takes any damage. Oh my, okay, well, guess we're switching to this then. If I can even get close to him. My, my. The worst part is, I didn't save, so we might be seeing Jeebel again. <laughs> this, if, I, if we do, this is going to be an excellent train wreck. Okay. Okay, well, hold on. We do have a ton of food to eat first to upgrade our stats. Let's see what we can do. Not done yet either. There we go, finally laying some damage on him. That's what was hitting me before. Apparently, if I stay high in the air, yeah, apparently if I stay in the air, he's less likely to hit me. He's taken a good number of hits, and he's dealing a lot of damage, too. As to be expected of the game creator. He's gonna put himself in the game. He's got to be really tough, right? There's no way he'd put himself in. And have him be weak. Privilege of being the game's designer. Oh gosh! My portraits are getting destroyed pretty quick. Ow. Come on, come on! Ah, I should have seen that coming. I actually managed to avoid that. Oh my gosh, I got him.
Yikes. Okay. I only came back in to show Johannes, you know, just, he was here. We left through the only way out of this room, and then, boom, he's gone. And then, like, Jeebel's no longer here either. That's all I was trying to do, and somehow we triggered the, uh, the optional DLC fight just from that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that was, like, the first boss since, since the first Zangetsu fight that was truly challenging. That caused me to go through a lot of health items. My, my. He was strong. Insatiable, yeah. So. How about we check out that... How about we check out that, uh, skill? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Yeah, it's... <laughs> just, yeah, it's just a chain of attacks here. Hmm. Nice, okay. If I could find a nice flat location. Oh wow, and it's strong too. I mean, of course it is. It's the skill we gained by killing the optional boss made in the image of the of the game's creator. Of course it's strong. Okay. Well, that's kind of fun. Uh, we're still going to stick to Welcome Company for now, but I'll keep in mind that we have that. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of OP, actually. That's, that's a lot of damage. It's like every single one of those things was... Like, every single tick of that was dealing, like, a hundred and something, like, 172 damage. That's kind of insane. So I'll keep in mind that we have that. But, uh... Doesn't even... How much does it even consume? 66 mana. That's not much for... for... Yeah, and what a, Yeah, what about when I get it to max? Increases coverage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, so this is a really busted ability. Or at least it will be when I rank it up. Oh my goodness. Okay, well... <laughs> After that, let's definitely save. Oh my goodness. And it gets better, too, because, remember, there was a side quest attached to beating this DLC boss. Which means we just completed one of Lindsay's side quests. Yeah, exactly. Like, once we upgrade the coverage on this thing, it'll blow up, it'll blow up like, the whole room. Just like the boss was doing. It'll actually, em it'll, like, just hit everywhere. Have you learned anything new? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. So we get the sword whip for killing Iga. Good work. What does it do? What does it do? I've gotta know. What what does this crazy weapon do? It's 23 attack. That's not great. But Oh, what? Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Apparently, it has a uh, tap forward twice and X skill. Yeah. 
Interesting. All right. So it's got good reach if we need it to have good reach. Still, 23 damage is a little underwhelming. I think I'll keep this for now, but... Still, that much reach on a sword is pretty good. I'll, I'll, keep, I'll definitely keep it in my inventory. 